assalamu alaikum doctors now let's talk about hepatitis d virus and hepatitis e virus now hepatitis d virus it is a rna virus it is rna virus and it, its incubation period is similar to hepatitis b virus and hepatitis d virus it occur with hepatitis b virus or it occur after hepatitis b virus hepatitis d virus is rna virus its incubation period is just like similar to hepatitis b virus and it occur with hepatitis b virus or occur after hepatitis b virus now how how this hepatitis d virus is transmitted so it is transmitted by parenteral route now this hepatitis d virus it is dependent on hepatitis b virus it is just similar to hepatitis b virus but it is a rna virus and hepatitis b virus is dna virus so it is found with the there is co-infection with hepatitis b virus and super infection with hepatitis d virus by co-infection with hepatitis B virus, it means that hepatitis D virus it required hepatitis B surface antigen. Okay, hepatitis D virus it required the hepatitis B surface antigen. It required hepatitis B surface antigen in order to replicate its own genome. Hepatitis D virus is basically dependent on hepatitis B virus and this hepatitis D virus, it required hepatitis B surface antigen in order to replicate its genome. Now this hepatitis B virus and hepatitis D virus, it work together during infection and ultimately it lead to the fulminant hepatitis. It lead to fulminant hepatitis. Now how, uh, what is the diagnostic marker for it? That is hepatitis D virus RNA in blood and liver now let's talk about hepatitis e virus now hepatitis e virus is also rna virus it is also it is enterovirus having water bone transmission and it has animal reservoir this hepatitis e virus it cause epidemic in asia and indian subcontinents and the very important points is they are having high it has high motility rate among pregnant women up to 20 percent 